Hi everyone! In this recipe, I'm gonna show you how to make the most delicious Turkish sweet pastry filled with poppy seed paste, better known as haşhaşlı çörek in Turkish. If you're ready, let's get started. I'm gonna start by heating two cups of milk and one cup of water. In a bowl, add the dry yeast and 5 to 6 tablespoons of granulated sugar. Now add the water and milk mixture into the bowl and stir very well. Add 1 cup of sunflower oil, 1 tablespoon of salt. Stir again. I'm gonna add all-purpose flour gradually. Until the dough is still kind of sticky, but not that much. Here it is too sticky. Here you can see the desired consistency. Now cover the dough with a plastic wrap and let it rise for about one hour. As you can see, it has doubled in size. Now I'm gonna make the spread. Add the poppy seed paste and sunflower oil and mix them together. And here comes the fun part, playing with the dough. Cut the dough in half and divide one half into 10 to 11 pieces. As you can see, I'm kind of rolling the dough out with my hands and then put the spread on and I'm kind of rolling it backwards and twisting them together. My daughter is making her own pastries. Now I'm gonna make the swirled dough shape. Cut the other half into 7 pieces and then roll each piece out like this. Spread the filling all over each layer. Repeat it until you have no dough left. And then put all the layers on top of each other. This is a cut from another video of mine. I wanted to put it here because I forgot to add ground walnuts to the spread. So here it is. Now we are going to divide it into 8 to 9 pieces and swirl each piece around. Place them on a baking sheet and we are going to wrap this up and let them sit out in a warm place for about 30 minutes. Now it is time to egg wash. Brush them gently with the mixture of egg yolks and sunflower oil. Now I'm gonna throw them into a 350 degree oven, which is 180 degrees Celsius, for about 20 minutes to bake up nice and golden brown. This is the first shape and they are delicious. They are golden brown and so fluffy. Here is the second tray and they are really fluffy and delicious too. Because it has layers to it, this one is even more delicious. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my recipe. If you did, please hit the like button and I'll see you next time with another Turkish recipe.